वेलकम वेलकम माय डियर फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ प्रोफेसर डॉक्टर राजेंद्र रघुवीर देशपांडे वुड लाइक टू वेलकम यू ऑल इन माय आयुर्वेदा एकेडमी यूट्यूब चैनल दिस चैनल इज फॉर एवरीबडी दिस चैनल इज वेरी यूजफुल फॉर द बी एम एस एम बी बी एस होम्योपैथी फिजियोथेरापी नर्सिंग ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ द मेडिकल पैरामेडिकल स्टूडेंट्स दिस चैनल इज यूजफुल for the upcoming young doctors it is useful for the professors this is very useful for the patients this is very useful and for the common man to develop their awareness of the diseases this channel is very useful so let us start with the today's interesting topic topic which is a continuation of my this series of the hormonal diseases i have already uploaded the video about the diabetes mellitus there are two parts and i have already uploaded the hyperthyroidism problem today we will discuss about this important gland over here in your neck in front of your neck there is a gland which is called as a thyroid gland and this thyroid gland may be sometimes hyper functioning that is excessive and sometimes it is a uh, low functioning that is hypothyroidism today we will discuss about hypo that is low level of the thyroid hormones myself professor deshpande from ayurveda academy i am md post graduation in ayurvedic medicine and md in ayurvedic physiology for paid online consultation paid online classes you can whatsapp me on 9226810630 let us start to discuss about this particular gland which is on the two side of larynx here you can see voice by which we can speak that is larynx and then trachea the pro, uh, the part of the respiratory system and that both side right and left there are two lobes of thyroid gland which are joined together by isthmus because the common man also don't know where is thyroid gland because doctor only say that you have the thyroid problem but where is this gland so this is over here okay so thyroid system you can see it is controlled basically by the brain there is one part which is called as a hypothalamus this is a part of brain this particular part is releasing some hormone thyrotropin releasing hormone thyrotropin releasing hormone trh this gives the signal to this gland anterior pituitary gland anterior pituitary gland is called as a master gland in endocrinology or endocrine system or with relation to the hormone hormone word is known to everybody but the hormone is related with endocrine glands okay so this anterior pituitary then gives the signal to the thyroid gland so there are three steps from the brain hypothalamus there is also the part of the little below this gland that is pituitary gland then in the neck it is thyroid gland okay so this pituitary gland says okay start releasing hormone thyroid stimulating hormone tsh and then thyroid gland gives this particular hormones which are called as t3 and t4 these are the names of hormones and these hormones are basically related with basal metabolic rate of the body chaya pachaya in marathi anabolism and catabolism together metabolism anabolism nutrition catabolism degeneration so addition and subtraction addition and subtraction anabolism and catabolism together metabolic process okay so lot of heat is generated whenever there is a metabolic process growth and development t3 t4 increased catecholamine effects okay so today we will talk about another name for hypothyroidism is myxedema m y x o e myxedema means hypo less functioning of t3 and t4 what are the symptoms in hyperthyroidism because of the excessive metabolic process weight loss was there but here in hypothyroidism opposite all the symptoms will be opposite there it was weight loss here it is a weight gain because of the edema and this edema is marked by puffiness of the face puffiness of the face this is generalized but slight edema over feet also unexplained and rapid increase in weight that is this is not the thing that the patient is only sitting patient is eating high calorie food like ice creams and pizza nothing like that he is eating normal but still he is getting more and more weight gain weight gain is a feature of hypothyroidism and weight loss was a feature of yes hyperthyroidism or thyrotoxicosis there are symptoms are totally opposite okay then physical and mental slow 
slowing down, lethargic, because met no metabolism. Metabolism is down. So there may be constipation. There may be lethargic condition. Tremendous laziness will come. Symptoms of hypothyroidism. Signs and symptoms of hypothyroidism. Psychological, poor memory and poor concentration. Patient cannot study well. Poor hearing also sometimes. Rarely. Firings, hoarseness of voice. Ah, change his voice. Like this, I'm acting. Hypothyroidism. I have hypothyroidism. Hoarseness of voice. Okay. Then heart, there will be slow pulse rate and pericardial effusion regarding the heart. Then muscular, delayed reflex relaxation. Then extremities will be cold, no hot, no metabolic process. Then carpal tunnel syndrome may be present, comorbidity. Then generalized symptoms, fatigue, tiredness, feeling cold, all the time feeling cold because no, no metabolic process. Then weight gain with poor appetite. Then hair loss will be there. Lungs will be shortness of breath, breathlessness. Pleural effusion may sometimes occur in the skin. Paresthesia. Then myxedema. Paresthesia, myxedema. Intestinal constipation and ascites and reproductive system. There may be menorrhagia. Okay. So this is puffiness of face. Can you see a little bit swelling on the face? This is called as a myxedematous face. Okay. So Another look, a typical feature, intolerance. Just I will go back here. We have completed the four symptoms. And now I am talking about fifth, intolerance to cold temperature. Patient, see interesting, all the time feeling cold, all the time feeling cold. It may be winter, it may be rainy season, but it may be summer season. In the summer season, hot sun is there. Everybody is feeling hot and sweating. But this myxedematous patient, will feel opposite because he is so cold inside the body that he will wear sweater sometimes even in the summer. Sweater in the summer. Oh, this may be the problem with the thyroid problem. Huh? Let us check the blood. So immediately you can take it into granted. Loss of, loss of sweating, not lots. Loss of sweating and dry skin will be there. Hoarseness of voice will be there. When the doctor will examine the patient, what he will get? That these are called as signs. Bradycardia. Normal pulse rate, how much? 72 per 280 per minute. But here, less pulse rate. It may be 60. It may be 55. It may be 65. That is called as bradycardia. Excess pulse in hyperthyroidism, tachycardia. Here, bradycardia. Take the two words. Ankle jerk. The medical students will understand. Ankle reflex. Ankle jerk. After a quick contraction, there will be slow relaxation. This is typical feature of myxedema, like ankle jerk is delayed. Relaxation will be delayed. So what you can do? Advise the patient to go to the pathology lab and do the blood test. T3, T4 will be decreases, but this is inversely proportional. TSH will be increased. This is in physiology, it is called as a negative feedback mechanism. In the endocrine system, more over hormones are controlled by negative feedback. Only exception is oxytocin, posterior pituitary gland. This is general another knowledge to the viewers. There is pituitary gland in the brain and posterior pituitary, there is one hormone which is called as oxytocin. For the oxytocin, it is responsible for giving the milk, breast milk ejection for the new baby. Uh, ejection of the milk from the breast. That is a function of oxytocin. But that is positive feedback. Even oxytocin can help to get the labor pains, contraction of the uterine muscles during the delivery. So delivery process is controlled by oxytocin. But oxytocin hormones functions are labeled as positive feedback mechanism. But all the other hormones, they are controlled as a negative feedback mechanism. This is physiological aspect for the students. Okay, not for the patients. Uh, don't worry. So what are the treatment? This is very interesting. Hypothyroidism treatment is simple, but it is lifelong, unfortunate. Patient has to take the medicine for the whole life. Only exception, as I am an Ayurvedic doctor, there are chances if you can combine this allopathic treatment and Ayurvedic treatment to begin with, there is a possibility 
after controlling always the blood uh, your t3 t4 levels but ayurved can help you to remove the basic causes basic problems in your body cells and it can definitely help to reduce this particular treatment period but according to the allopathy it is a supplement is needed for this patient lifelong and what is that supplement of thyroid thyroxine hormone tablet ultroxin 100 mg tablet od for one month od only here is a printing mistake i am extremely sorry but with your kind permission let me allow to correct that particular uh, uh, correction okay so if you don't mind please give me few seconds only okay so this is actually it should be od and also i will correct that previous one also o d once in a day for one month okay i will save this you are agree for dr deshpande genuine efforts so you don't mind that dr deshpande is correcting immediately for the next uh, videos or the next uh, uh, sharing of knowledge i have corrected this this is a od that means once in a day so tablet ultroxin once in a day for one month again i am taking to big size okay repeat tsh thyroid stimulating or blood test we still increase then tablet you have to increase also the tablet like for example you can increase one tablet once in a day for one month then one and half tablet again for try for one month again check the tsh if it is not increased give for two tablets go for two and half tablet but maximum three tablets the doctor can give to the patients of mixed edema or hypothyroidism are you getting but slowly the dose should be increased for the tolerance level my dear friend this is all about mixed edema or hypothyroidism i am very much thankful but remember self medication should not be done disclaimer vaidhani ki ishara kaun si bhi bimari mein yatha avashyak yatha kal vaidhi ki salah lena bahut hi zarurat hai if any viewer is suffering from cerebral palsy arthritis motor neuron disease cancer attention deficit hyperactive children itp idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura or any such type of chronic diseases or autoimmune diseases you we have ayurveda academy has a very good team of doctors in different specialization and you can definitely come to us for paid online consultation with whatsapp 9226810630 i request to like this video share this video and don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel and also press the bell button icon so you can get the information of daily or uh, sometimes the, which i uploaded the different videos in the different uh, categories so i have the very big playlist you can check over that and i wish you all the best take care